hello today i would like to show you this beautiful dispatch base setup we've got the motorola dm4601 and it's being connected via usb cable to the panasonic toughbook cf19 in that beautiful base docking station that is giving you that very nice angle you will be able to see that on my video it is providing power and data to the Motorola radio whole idea of having a full size computer attached at the base station to your Motorola Moto Turbo radio is ability to extremely quickly compose and read messages that can be sent and received from different radios in our case that's going to be a Motorola Ion that's because it is absolutely amazing while operating you feel like you are using just regular SMS this is application that we are going to be using the TurboNet text messenger this is a application available for download free of charge both radios are on the same channel and of course we can provide a voice communication so if you take a look at the top display i'm going to press the ptt on the base station radio one two three four five radio check as you can see we've got a call from dispatch and i can respond to the dispatch calling one two three four five radio check radio check so as you can see we've got a voice communication in both ways first we take a look at the application on that side we've got our contacts which are just a name and corresponding radio id i've got the motorola ion if i hit edit this is nothing more than name and radio id of course we can also have a groups i'm going to tick a checkbox next to Motorola Ion because this is where I would like to point our message and the recipients can be multiple in that area we've got our history now is empty but in second is going to be extremely easy to understand on bottom part we've got our message that we are composing and self-explaining send button there will be a couple things that are worth of taking a look first is going to be top screen of the motorola ion then the traffic on the base radio and top part of the message because it's going to turn green as soon as the message is going to be successfully delivered into motorola ion and motorola ion is going to respond with a delivery confirmation then it's going to turn green so you've got a 100 percent confirmation that the message successfully arrived to the destination radio let me start from composing a extremely quick message i'm going to just say hello let's pay attention to the screen traffic and the top part i'm hitting send new message we had traffic it's green because it's delivering successful as you can hear we've got a beeping sound letting us know that we've got a message waiting for response we wake up the screen on top we've got new message just like with a regular sms and here it is this is our message hello exactly like here i read it it stopped beeping i can respond like with a regular sms just type hello i hit send and we've got our message arrive on the screen we've got the okay we've got information here so i type ppp hit send this is how easy it is it is absolutely amazing while using you see how fast and how simple it is let me show you the delivery confirmation 
I'm going to disable the LMR. I'm going to go into the broadband PTT. And now if I'm going to send a message, you can see that it's trying to be delivered. It's going to be transmitted, but there is no response from that radio because the LMR part is disabled. So you know exactly that message didn't pass through. And as you can see, we've got information the message was not sent and it was not delivered. If I go back and enable the LMR, then we can send our message or resend it. And now it's nicely arrived. And of course I can do a quick reply. I can type something, hit send, and we've got the response. And now let's do some kind of simulation. Let's pretend that I'm in field. This is the base station, the dispatch. We've got access to the internet and all the knowledge. This is my LMR radio. I'm stuck in field and I need to get some kind of information. So I'm just going to place a call. Hello base. I need information about the word of Motorola company. Okay, no problem. I'm going to send you that information via the messaging app. Hold down. Roger that, no problem. And we place our call and at the base station we open the Wikipedia. We open the Motorola company. We find the information how much is being worth. You just nicely copy that. We open the messaging app. We've got some number. We don't want to confuse them. We don't want to mix them by speaking. We hit send. Send. Deliver it. And it's got on our radio. We can nicely open it and our information arrive. Got it. I'm replying. And we've got confirmation. In my personal opinion, having ability to send and receive messages via the Motorola Ion, being able to compose them via the touch screen, it is really so easy, so quickly accessible, that it is the best way to complement your audio. Audio is going to be always great for a rapid changing situation, but sometimes you don't want to send sensitive information on your speaker or you've got like here a number so you don't want to mix them, confuse them by just speaking by a, each letter, each number. So it is absolutely the best way with the delivery confirmation. It is making a great choice. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.